Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways that you can remove choices from Google Forms as they get used up. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my sample Google Form. And the first option we're going to use is a Google Forms add-on called Choice Removal. And Choice Removal does exactly what you think it might do. It removes choices as they get used up. Let's go ahead and add a question to our Google Form. And let's just say, you know, what is your preferred after school activity to chaperone or supervise? And we can say uh, school dances. Maybe we'll make that homecoming dance or winter dance. Let's say winter ball. And we can say here, you know, open gym time. Field trips to museums. And we'll just leave it as those three options for now, just for the sake of this demo. Now I have the choice removal add-on installed. And we're now going to select choice removal from the list of add-ons and select configuration. And now we'll see our question list. And in this case here, our form only has one question. So we're just going to select this one as remove choices. And now as each choice gets used up, it will be eliminated from the form. Let's take a look at how that works. So here's the form, and let's say we choose winter ball. We'll submit it. And then we go and view this form again. And we'll see that winter ball no longer appears as one of the answer choices. So that's one option. That, again, that's called choice removal. And that's one option that we can use to remove choices as they get used up. But you'll notice the problem with that is that as soon as that answer is chosen, no one else can even view it. So another option you might choose is called Choice Eliminator 2. And I've used this one for years to remove choices as they get used up. The benefit of Choice Eliminator 2 is you can specify how many times an answer gets chosen before it gets used up. So let's take a look at this. Let's go and add a question here. Say, what is the, or what is your preferred meeting time? And let's put in some answer choices. And we can do it as check boxes, multiple choice, drop down menu. Let's do option one. In fact, I'm going to use check boxes so we don't have to go through the drop down menu. Let's say option one will be you know, 3 p.m. 3.30 p.m. and 4 p.m. Again, I could add as many choices as I like, but I'm going to keep it short for this demo. We'll go back up here to add-ons. I'm going to pick Choice Eliminator 2. We're going to configure it. And we can say, what is your preferred meeting time? That's going to be the question where we eliminate choices. We'll give it a second to work. We'll see there it's creating. And now we can specify choice options and say that it can each choice can be used twice before it gets eliminated from the list of options. Now, this is great if you were using the form to have people sign up in small groups or for a set of activities and you had a, a limit to them. So for example, let's say here, you know, what is your preferred winter carnival activity? And we want to say um, you know, making snowmen. Snowmen. 
sledding or staying inside. And in this case here, I'm going to use the choice limiter two. And again, in this case, what is your preferred winter carnival activity? Let's eliminate choices here as they get used up, but I'm gonna specify that three students can pick each one of these before it gets removed from the list. So I'm going to have a limit of three option three times that each one can be used before it gets removed from the list. So let's take a look at this. We'll see making snowmen, there it is. And then we'll go again. We'll see making snowmen. And we'll go another time. And we'll see this time, three o'clock didn't appear because it got eliminated because it was already chosen twice. And in this case here, we have making snowmen available one more time because, and after this, it'll be eliminated. Let's submit it. And now when we go to view it, we'll see making snowmen is eliminated along with the three o'clock time also being eliminated. So those are two ways that you can remove choices from Google Forms as they get used up. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.